Hey, what's up YouTube? And in today's jailbreak update video, we have some exciting news to talk about, and I'm specifically addressing the brand new kernel exploit that is soon to be released by Ian Beer for iOS 11.1.2. Plus, Pangu is now active again on their blog and Twitter accounts. So, in today's video, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about these events that have come out in the last couple of days. So starting off first, like I said, there's going to be a new iOS 11.1.2 kernel exploit soon to be released by Ian Beer. Beer is already a well-known and respected security researcher thanks to his work with Project Zero, and many of you may know him already from his work on the Mac portal exploit which Luca then used to create the iOS 10 jailbreak. And essentially, we are in the same position as we were last year. Ian Beer is about to release yet another kernel exploit, this time for iOS 11.1.2, which then could potentially lead to a jailbreak if another developer came along and used his exploits, along with a few other ones chained together to create a fully functional jailbreak. Now, just to clarify, Ian Beer's exploit on its own is not a full entire jailbreak, but it is a good piece of the puzzle that's needed in order to create one. Instead, this is being defined as the TFPO exploit, which essentially allows those with the necessary skill sets and knowledge of Apple's iOS platform to run unsigned and unofficial code at the kernel level. So basically, this is the highest level of privilege possible, meaning that in the right hands and with the right exploits, this could be a significant part of putting a jailbreak together for iOS 11. Now, this information that I'm reporting to you today actually came to light yesterday on December 5th through Ian Beer's official Twitter account. And his tweet basically suggests that anyone who is interested in doing iOS 11 kernel research should prepare themselves a research-only device that's running on iOS 11.1.2 or below. He then went on to mention that the first part of the TFPO exploit release will be coming soon, and that this exploit is patched in iOS 11.2. Now, Ian Beer is actually brand new to Twitter, and his account was only created in December. Now, this alone might look slightly suspicious, but Ben Hawks, who is also a part of Project Zero actually confirmed that this account does belong to his colleague. Anyway, roughly around the same time that the jailbreak community received this information from Ian Beer, Pangu also resurfaced on their Twitter and blogging accounts. Ty Lee, who is a member of the Pangu jailbreak team, tweeted out this, which essentially states that iOS 11.2 has fixed a kernel exploit extension and that more details about it can be found in their blog on their Chinese blogging website. So taking a look at Pangu's blog, we can see that this was posted on it. And what I thought was super interesting is you can see down at the very bottom, it is confirmed that whatever exploit they have found here is patched in iOS 11.2. Now it's not confirmed, but it is looking very likely that this exploit that Pangu is talking about is the same one that Ian Beer is soon to be releasing for iOS 11.1.2 and earlier. And while I myself can't get too much information from this article, I'm sure there are some security research developers out there that know Chinese that could find this very useful. Anyway, in the end, it's very great to see that Pangu has written this article. That is a very good thing. It shows that they still may be active and that at the very least, they are testing new exploits on new firmware. So that is very exciting news, guys, that they are still interested in testing iOS. So with this information coming out, I know a lot of people are going to be asking the question of what iOS version should I stay on? And essentially, all I have to offer you guys is if you are on iOS 11.2, definitely downgrade to iOS 11.1.2 or earlier. And secondly, if you're on iOS 10.3.1 or 10.3.2, there are still quite a few more exploits out there available for you guys that could be turned into a jailbreak very soon that are patched in 10.3.3 and all the versions in iOS 11. So if you are on those two firmwares, I would essentially stay there and just wait and see what happens once Ian Beer's exploit is released. If you are on iOS 10.3.3, however, I would almost suggest just to update to iOS 11.1.2 now while while it is still being signed. And if you guys are currently in the situation where you need to upgrade or downgrade to iOS 11.1.2, essentially all you have to do is manually download the IPSW file from IPSW.me or any other site that provides it, and then manually restore using iTunes. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's jailbreak update video. I'll be sure to stay on top of when Ian Beer releases his iOS 11.1.2 research, and I will make a video the second that it comes out. That being said, don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts, and of course subscribe to my channel before you head out to be notified when I release new videos just like this one. Anyway, thank you guys once more again for watching, and until until next time, this is Tony, signing out.